All right, ladies and gentlemen, today is logo making day. So there's a few different ways you can do this. I'm going to show you easiest to hardest. First thing you're going to want to do is think about what you might want your logo to look like. So let's say that I'm going to do a coffee shop. So in Google, I type in coffee, go to images. Let's say I like, I like this one. Okay, so I'm going to right click, save image as, put it on my desktop so it's easy to find. So there's my picture down here. The first website is remove.bg. BG stands for background, and this will work on any picture that has different contrasting colors with just a couple clicks. Add my coffee cup hit download. It kept this part of the plate, got rid of the rest of the stuff. Now if I wanted to get rid of this part of the plate too, I can hit edit, choose erase, make my brush a little bigger, and I can take out more of the plate if I want. Okay, so I just erase around here, You can get pretty picky with it if you want. All right, so I can download that one because all I have now is the cup with the smiley face. I don't want to share, I want to download. All right, so there it is, coffee-remove-bg. It's in my downloads folder. Okay, that'll give me just what's on the screen. Second option, L-O-G-O-M-A-K-R, so no E, dot com, logomaker.com. This one has a million different graphics that you can choose from. So I can do create a new design, close out of there, and look for coffee on here. Okay, it brings up all kinds of pictures. Let's say I like that one. It adds it to my page. I can drag the corners to make it bigger. Move the whole thing over. I can change the color of the coffee cup if I want by using the paint bucket. And then I can add text. So if I wanted to put the name of my business, like the beanery. Okay, I can move that. I can make it so that it fits on the cup itself. You can change the color of the words. When you're happy with this, you can hit the save logo up here. Say no thanks, download low resolution file. It puts that down here. Now, if you want to do a combination of the two, you can use photop.com, which you used in seventh grade when we did the Hulk with Danny DeVito's head and your face behind Iron Man thing. We can choose open from computer. My download, so there's my logo maker one. And I can also do my coffee cup. So you can move that around. If I wanted the cup and the steam to be a different color, I can search up here for my paint bucket tool because it's easier than typing in all the different, or clicking on all the different menus to find out where it's hiding. I can choose a color. Like right now, that's kind of a chocolate brown. It shows the chocolate brown right here. And on my paint bucket, I can make the steam colored. I can do a different color for the cup. Like maybe I want that cup to be white. I can change the color of the words or just one letter. Up to you. When you're happy with this, 
you go File, Export as PNG. If you choose any of these other types, you're going to have a white background. So you got to pick PNG to keep it transparent. Hit Save. That now goes into my Downloads folder as well. Your goal for the Flex Day today is to create a logo, put it on your Day 6 journal, write a couple sentences, and then get to about 75% done with your SketchUp files before you come back to class for Day 7. On Day 7, we're going to be starting to record, so you need to make sure all this stuff is ready to go. If you have any questions, please feel free to send me a message.